It was a dark and stormy night when a weary traveler named Sarah found herself alone at a desolate bus stop in the middle of nowhere. The rain beat against the rusting metal roof, creating an eerie symphony of creaks and groans. As she huddled beneath her umbrella, the distant rumble of an approaching bus echoed through the damp air. The bus emerged from the shadows, its headlights flickering like distant stars in the night. The driver, an old man with a weathered face and hollow eyes, opened the creaking doors without a word. Sarah hesitated for a moment, but the pouring rain and the cold wind pushed her to step aboard. The interior was dimly lit, the flickering fluorescent lights casting long, distorted shadows. Sarah took a seat near the back, shivering as a cold draft whispered through the bus. The windows were fogged, and the rhythmic swaying of the vehicle created an unsettling atmosphere. As the bus trundled along the deserted road, Sarah noticed that there were no other passengers. The only sound was the relentless drumming of rain on the roof and the occasional groan of the aging engine. The old man at the wheel seemed to be muttering to himself in a language Sarah couldn't quite place. After what felt like hours, the bus pulled into a small, forgotten town. The streets were empty and the buildings appeared abandoned. The driver, without a word, motioned for Sarah to disembark. An uneasy feeling settled in her stomach as she stepped off the bus into the deserted streets. Sarah turned to thank the driver, but he was gone. The bus rumbled away into the darkness, leaving her alone in the silent town. She could feel ease watching her from the shadows, and the wind whispered unsettling secrets through the empty streets. Desperation set in as Sarah realized she was lost in a place that seemed to exist on the fringe of reality. The once familiar bus stop was nowhere to be found, and every alley she turned down led to more desolation. As she stumbled through the eerie town, the air grew colder, and the oppressive silence was shattered by distant, haunting whispers. Figures moved in the darkness, their forms indistinct and ghostly. Panic set in, and Sarah ran, her footsteps echoing through the empty streets. In her frantic escape, she stumbled upon an ancient cemetery. The gravestones stood like silent sentinels in the pale moonlight. The whispers grew louder, and the figures in the shadows closed in around her. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she realized the truth. The bus and its mysterious driver were conduits to a realm beyond the living. The town was a gateway to a spectral dimension, and she had unwittingly become part of its twisted tapestry. With each step, the whispers intensified, and the ghostly figures reached out with ethereal hands. The boundary between the living and the dead blurred as Sarah's terrified screams joined the haunting chorus that echoed through the forsaken town. And so, the Midnight Express continued its journey.